Okay, welcome back again to uh, After Dinner Conversation. I am your co-host Colby with uh, co-host Ashley and Jeremy. Uh, After Dinner Conversation is a growing collection of short stories across genres meant to draw out deeper conversations. I feel like I'm getting better at that now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are available for download to read either uh, on the website or you can go to wherever eBooks are, Amazon, Apple, various places uh, and download them to your e-reader, laptop, yep. all that. And all the things that we're talking about and all the stories that we're doing, uh, even some of the questions are online. So you can uh, post your own comments and thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, I always see people do that in YouTube videos. <laughs> I think that looks so weird. Uh, we are today at, uh, once again, at the- La Gatara. La Gatara, thank you. A cat cafe <laughs> in uh, Tempe, Arizona. Uh, mostly just because we just really thought this would be a fun place to do these. Uh, right, and so they're super weird. nice to let us stay here. And so uh, come by. You can play with the kittens anytime you want. By the way, every cat oh. here is up for adoption, yeah. including oh. this little spunkadoodle. Right. Although by the time you see this, it might already be adopted because it's freaking adorable. But, but there'll be new kittens. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and again, so uh, you should <laughs> probably read the stories before you watch the thing. But if you haven't, uh, that's okay. We'll give you a little bit of a description. Matter of fact, Jeremy, do you want to do a description of uh, yeah, our short story synopsis. this Yeah, This story is called The Shadow of the Thing. Um, who's the author on this? Kurt. We, we have yeah, not yeah, been doing this, that. Yeah. We haven't oh, uh, sorry. Kurt, uh, some Tyler Kurt. Tyler, Tyler Kurt. Tyler Kurt, Kurt sorry. Um, Next week, we've got somebody different. Yeah. Uh, so, The Shadow of the Thing by Tyler Kurt um, is a short story about um, a Two people, a relationship between two people, uh, somebody comes over to their friend's house or is invited to their friend's house and the woman uh, wants, I guess, her best friend there because she's about to take a drug that's going to change her perspective on reality. Forever. And, uh, right. Forever. Short term. Forever. So Forever. not just it's like, like a single use drug. Right. Yeah. And the and drug's called Apple. Right. Um, and the conversation that happens around that. Right. Not really the ramifications, but the conversation about the ramifications of this decision. So we don't ever get to see what happens when she takes it. Right. There's well, some secondhand, uh, because her husband has already taken it, and you do get to see how he interacts with them. He's freaky. A little bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, he's an engineer. He this seems cat to be is super like energetic this week. Every engineer I know. <laughs> is what? <laughs> he acts like every engineer. Oh, right, right. He just acts yeah. like an engineer. So, act so the, the, the main narrator of the story, his name is Dakota, and the lady who's taken the drug, her name's Mauve, and her husband, Jason, who's already yes. taken it, just to kind of give names out there. So uh, Maeve, I think it is. Maeve, Maeve sorry. Mauve. Mauve. Maeve. M -A -E -V -E. Maeve. I think I think Maeve, honestly, because I think it's a variation of Eve. That's my guess. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Mauve has a U. Oh, well, never mind. Sorry. That's all right. No, <laughs> no, 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 continue. Please continue. Uh, that's it. That's it? Okay. I, I was just giving names. Yeah, so Dakota, <laughs> Dakota, Maeve, and what's Maeve's husband's name? I don't Jason. remember. Jason. Jason. So Dakota comes over and uh, Maeve answers the door. Yeah. Very excited. This is a friend of his. Obviously, they're very close. Yeah. And she sits him down and goes, I'm so glad you're here. I want to take this drug, Apple. Yeah. And basically, it was, I want to take it. Do you remember why it's called Apple? Um, it looks like an apple. The pill has a dimple. Oh, yeah, because it looks like an apple. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, it's not red or something like that. Right. Now, her situation is she wanted someone to be there that could keep an eye on her, make sure she's safe sure. while she takes this drug. And she also wanted to see him for the last time as he is before as she, she is. As she before. is before she changes. Yeah. 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 And the drug is, it's a weird drug. Like it's definitely a fictional drug, right? Right. Because it's not like, like it's not like an ecstasy or pot or heroin sort no, of drug. No, there, there's a, there, it, it would be a nootrope. I think it's What's technically. A <laughs> Did you do research? <laughs> I've done a lot of research on this. So okay. nootropes are uh, drugs that affect your your mind, affect how okay. you process information, or, or basically, there um, there's a lot of fads around nootropes, basically to make you a better worker. Um, to like Ritalin. Yeah, very much the same thing, or focused. Okay. The, the drugs that allow you to focus. A lot of gamblers take. Uh, drugs oh, okay, that, that are make sense. to keep them awake or... Okay, uh, so a nootrope is a, right. like a focused drug, but you don't mean yes. like a single-use drug where you take it once and it lasts forever. No, 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 I mean, that, and that's okay. the fictional 
component of this. Right. Um, although some some of those some of nootropes you can take for a long time and they do effectively change the way your brain works and you don't have to take them anymore. It reminded me a little but bit of Limitless, except yes, the creepier version of a Limitless. A creepier version. Because Limitless yeah. is really like a focus drug, yes. as opposed to this, which is like a mind expansion drug. Right. Yeah. Keep in mind, this is a, a relatively new drug. It's not one that's been on the market for a very long time. Yeah. And according to the headlines, it's known as the new party drug or the teen dies or the miracle, what is it, miracle mind bender. So it's a relatively new right. drug making news headlines. So there's not a whole lot known about and it. Not a lot of research on no. it, it seems like. No. Like it's the way it goes, yeah. right? Like first the drug comes out, people take it having no idea what it does except what right. their friends tell them it does. And exactly. then like 20 years later, like all the research says like, oh, by the way, this like, is what's, yeah. Yeah, this is bad news. Oh, oh we got a second cat. <laughs> cat city here. Yeah. All uh, right, so. So so one of the things I thought, I thought there were a lot of uh, interesting symbolism parallel things in this mm -hmm. one. So number one, obviously the idea that it's called Apple, pretty simple symbolism, right? Like it's this idea of like uh, like Adam and Eve and taking an apple. And because, I mean, here's, here's the thing that I think is the interesting parallel for me is so you think of like Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden in that sort of biblical story, and they're really just like, like I don't wanna say, be, I don't wanna be mean, but like cows, right? Like they, they don't know they're naked, they don't, know, they don't get hungry, right. they, don't, they don't, all that stuff. They're innocent. They're innocent, right, that's the, the, the idea of it. And then when they take this apple, they- They when, see the world. They see the world as it is, right? They see their yeah. own nakedness, they see, they feel hunger, they feel cold, they, all of that, uh, and, and so one of the things I think is interesting is that parallel of like, would you do it anyway, right? right? Like, like, do you want to live pre-Apple or do you want to live post-Apple? Uh, do you want to know even if knowing is pain? Yes. Now the way that Jason had come down, Jason again, the husband who's actually taken it, the way that he explained it is imagine well, if there was a true it. world yeah. layered on top of the world that you see around you and you were just seeing it for the first time now. Yeah. That's yeah. the only way. And he seems very, in my opinion, kind of distant. He's, he says hello, but then he goes back to his work. Right. Granted, we don't know if that's his personality to begin with. He's an, uh, maybe, an maybe, 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 yeah. maybe he's he is an engineer. engineer. But that's the best way that he could kind of understand it. Now, uh, now well, the ma, 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 Maeve, Maeve. Maeve also uh, wanted her friend Dakota here because Jason, in her opinion, was is incapable of sitting her mm -hmm. for the experience. Exactly. So that that made me go, okay, like even if your right. husband can't even be there to like help you. Uh, yeah, that's a bad sign. Is that a good sign? Is that a bad sign? You know? You were gonna say something? Uh, um, well, it's interesting. So this actually brings two different aspects of two different types of drugs. So nootropes in terms of mind expanding drugs, sure. but also entheogens, which are uh, drugs that are used for spiritual uh, enlightenment. Oh, yeah. What was the people so, in Peru were always into the? Yeah. Oh, the, um, uh, it starts with the. Uh, I know. There was that, that the drug. I don't well, know there, there's a called. bunch of them. Basically, well, it's, it's like it's psychotropes a, or mind right, expanding the, drugs. Yes. Right? Mind expanding drugs uh, that are used in a spiritual sense for to reach enlightenment. Mm. DMT is a really good example yeah. of that, where you're like the Native American in touch stuff with, as well, right? Where right. You take, peyote. Uh, peyote. Yeah. Right. And so that's a whole other class of mind-altering drugs that are really used to expand your spiritual connection to the universe. Sure. So it seems like there's a combination of these things, to, uh, these two things going on. Yeah. Um, which, you know, is an interesting way to... Except forever, to, right? Yes. It's like you take whatever, peyote or whatever your mind-expanding drug is, and you're not just changed while you're on it. It, the, I mean, it your, does, your, the experience you, changes you forever. Yes. Instead of just being in this different state, it changes you and your perceptions, and you incorporate that into your personality and move and but continue But I feel on. like there are, there are variations of that than, that exist already, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, ayahuasca, that was the name there of it. There you go. Yeah, yeah the, like the idea of like I, whether it's a Native American tradition, whether it's in Peru and ayahuasca or whether it's whatever, this idea of like I take this thing and it allows me to understand in a way that I couldn't right. have understood before. Yes. But this is like to the like next level stuff. Exactly. So I'd yeah. like to talk about what, what would make someone want to take this in the first place. So you have this girl who she's working. She, she sees, seems content in herself. They live in a track home. She does a lot of traveling. She does a lot of yeah. traveling. Yeah, does but, travel blog. Pretty but good she life. also yeah. seems like she's 
missing out on something. Uh, yeah. Same thing with Jason. Granted, he's he's a, he's a base jumper who right. a squirrel dive suit right. dives. Right, right. Who's like that total Wing extreme. Suit base jumper. You know, on the other end, he's making his money as a programmer. It's like, is it, yeah. d- what makes someone want to take this drug in the first place? Are they divided in two different lives? Yeah. Like she's this homebody wearing sweatpants and slippers, she, yet she no, travels a lot. No, she's not a homebody. A right. They're they're both people into extreme they're experience. They're extremists yes. in their own ways. Yes, that's what yes. I was getting at. Is yeah. so. What is their ultimate goal to find out of this drug? Are they going to lean them to be more true, authentic selves than themselves that just accept that they are? I think are that's the idea, yeah. is w- to have your most authentic, to get to the most authentic version of yourself mm-hmm. and the the most in touch with your life and the universe you can get. You have to truly so commit to that extremist part of yourself in a way because yeah. they like they have two parts of their lives. Ex- but I don't think it's a commitment to an extremist. I think it's a commitment to... Are we about to get a cat to tackle the <laughs> camera? Uh, I think it's a commitment to to like truth, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, the like it's interesting because the biblical reference is that Adam and Eve made a mistake by eating the apple, right? But but then we spent the rest of humanity's yes. existence trying to understand the universe and the world around us, right? Where is our place in it? How does it work? How do right. we? And so, if you are committed to that pursuit, then why would you stop because of I don't. I don't. I mean, once you've started down that road, I don't think there's an end. I don't. Or maybe there but is. But there know. doesn't have to be an end. Yeah. You know, I'll, it's I'll just wanna... you're moving to yet another level of understanding. Yeah. So one of the things I thought was interesting about the way that Jason explains it is it says Jason held up the tea to show me, and says when I hold up this cup, you see a cup of tea, and together we've given it the name cup of tea. But what if it's just a form of the thing in this moment? that we call tea, but not the thing itself. Right. And I think that's the, to me, that was a really, I mean, there's a couple other parts where he talks that I think is interesting. I like the, like we call the thing coming into the beach a wave instead of calling it a form of the ocean. Right. Yeah. It's the exact, yeah. Right, like, like yeah, like I, I'm seeing this cup of tea and it's the separation, you, we call it the separation of everything. The same way we call a wave the separation of the ocean. Yeah, you separated it and called it something completely different when it's still right, an when extension it's still of its same thing. Right, yes. yeah. which I, I think I can see how that would be appealing. Absolutely. Even if it like totally messed up like your understanding but, of... Well, and that's really the question that comes about with all drug use, even if they're nootropes or entheogens yeah. or psychoactives, is does it affect you to a point where you can no longer interact with society? Mm-hmm. And that's what tipped yeah. me off with the Jason guy. When he comes down, they said he's kind of glossy-eyed, and she can't even trust him to take care of her. Now, again, we don't have the backstory if that's yeah. just his personality in general, or is this a side effect of Apple? Well, but think about it this way, though, too. And I hadn't thought about this when I was reading it, but now that we're talking about it, imagine if there were two Adam and Eves. And I, I keep going back to this example because it seems like a good parallel. The, yeah. So let's say there's the Adam and Eve that, that eat the apple, and then there's the Adam and Eve that didn't, that see them. How would... The pre-Apple Adam and Eve see the post-Apple Adam and Eve. They yeah. would see them as odd and distant and 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 angsty, like and 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 sad. Right. They would seem sad because they would know hunger and they would know pain and they would know nudity. And so the pre-people would look at the post-people and be like, "Why would anyone want Why that? Why would you do that? Why would you want that? Like ignorance I don't, is bliss. Right? Why I don't understand you? what you're going through, but I understand that you don't seem happy anymore, yeah. and I feel happy." But isn't there, like, you can't understand happiness without sad? Or you get a greater understanding of happiness Absolutely. once you've had trauma and sadness and those f- effects? Yeah. So it's like, again, it, it's a mind opening rather than an enhancement of your sensations yeah. around you in a way. So that brings us to, there, there are, at yeah. the end of the stories, there are a series of questions. So that brings us to question number two. Do you think Maeve is making the right choice by taking Apple? Oh, no, we didn't ask number one. Oh, sorry. But I, I mean, that was going <laughs> off of what we were just saying. Yeah, yeah. So number okay. one is, so she, while she's taking the, the apple, there's a couple extra left over, and it says, do you think Dakota's going to take I love how them? there's just, like, one left on the table, like, yeah, like it's just like, in just case. Just in yeah. case. Yeah. I don't think he should. I, uh, at least not in that I, moment when he himself doesn't have someone to watch over him. While if he thinking. hasn't done the research, I think you really, with any of them, if you don't know what to expect and you're not in the right place, it's not how the right decision. I also don't know, though, whoa, we got craziness going on in my eyes. I also don't know how you research it. Like, how does, how does a post-person explain to a pre-person what they're understanding? 
like I think it's like describing color to a blind person. Yeah, like, like I think at a certain blue, point, like you red. can be like you can you can be like, well, they didn't die of hunger. I guess that's good. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but I don't know how yeah. you I don't know how it's anything but a leap of faith, right? Certainly. Yeah. Uh, because because you're right. Maybe maybe everyone's wrong. Like maybe it doesn't really show you anything. Maybe it's just cats having like a. There's a cat behind us running on a walkway, and yeah. she's just like ah. Uh, so so you so you you say don't take it without more research. Would decode it? I don't think under two. Yeah, more research. Also, do his own experiment. Like see Absolutely. how his friend changes, and then and then thirdly, figure out if it's something he needs to if do he himself. Wants to do. Right. I like Where how is he at in his life, and is this something yeah. that there, there is this like subtle like peer pressure? Like I needed you here to take this, by the way. Yeah. And like slides a couple on the table. Yeah. So I I don't think you should. I think Absolutely. I think this is the like most don't do it because of peer pressure drug there is, right? Yeah. Like, because it's a drug if that... If it's a permanent change. Yeah, it's yeah. not like a cigarette, right? Like, where it's like, well, I coughed and I didn't like it. <laughs> no, like, you take it once and you're and it, it's it. You're good for a life. Yeah. Like, I think that's one that you don't... That's You don't take that with the peer pressure. Well, what about Mob it, or Maeve? Maeve is yeah. she... <laughs> sorry, I'm going to butcher that name all throughout this no thing. Uh, do you think Maeve is making the right choice by taking Apple? That's actually... Has, I, she, has she done her research? Has she prepped herself accordingly? Yeah. Is she ready to commit to this life changing? So I think that for me was the only part of the story that I was like, hmm. We don't know. Because we don't really know. But of course there's an inherent desire to be with your husband, right? Yeah. And so even if, so that's the part I didn't know, right? Like, is she doing it because she wants to be with her husband? Or is she doing it, making a permanent forever change to your perspective in the world, potentially? Because of the, like, internally she believes it's the right choice. Mm -hmm. uh, right. And I think that's a huge difference in motivation that decides if she's making the right or wrong decision. I, I'd right. like to I mean, point they're out linked, but um, you, would, you would want them to be linked. Not only is it just uh, a continuation of he's changed, but clearly he's changed in positive enough ways that she sees it as a positive example. Yeah. So, I think he's kind of rude to have taken it without her, actually. Like, I, feel like I agree. I feel like that's a conversation <laughs> you have with your wife. Like, you're not just like, hey, some guy slipped me this thing at the bar. No, no, no. Right. Maybe it was they sat down and they were like, we're both interested. Well, I'll take it first in case it kills me in that way. Like, like I'll be the test person. I yeah. see that a lot, that people come in and they're like, my husband's sure. going to go first to like – Try it out for both of us just to make sure it's safe. What do you, you see what that are you into that you're like husband? No, no, it out no. And then, and then, okay. So I work in the dental field. Okay. I, oh, I work oh, in the, and like have, my husband's going to test out a crown first. Well, no, no, no. Well, they come in and they're like, I want you to test out this dental office, see if it's good. You go first. Uh, okay. So I feel like it's the same gotcha. situation. Like you test it out, you let me know if it's okay. Um, one thing I like to point out too. Sh keep in mind, she has taken almost everything yeah. in a non-addictive manner. That's she, right, he talks about she she's like the one person who doesn't get addicted to anything. So is she at this yeah. point where she's tried everything and now she's looking for that nothing else does it for her? That she's, yeah. why not? Why not take this other thing? Why right. not? I've taken everything before and I've lived. Why not take this one other yeah. thing? Or, an uh, aspect I don't think that. so, that's, though. Like, it, it isn't get, presented that in that feel. way. Yeah. It isn't presented in the, you know, it isn't presented in the, I've taken these things and they no longer do anything yeah. for me. It's just that she's taken all these things and... There's never been an addiction or yeah. an adverse mm -hmm. reaction to them. Right. So I think it's more presenting her as this isn't an addiction problem. Mm -hmm. This is an experimentation. Right. And you yeah. don't get the impression that she's that. doing it as like a party drug. Right. Like yeah. She's doing and it I as think, like a rational. And that seems a little odd in the story to, to present it as a party drug. Yeah. I think that's just the press getting it wrong, right? Like right. the press thinks everything is a party drug. Right. But yeah. I mean, get the one thing with that point though too is if she had never taken any drugs before, do you think... Yeah, someone would take this. I mean, I, I feel like yeah. someone in her case who's taken stuff and been like, oh, I, I'm not addicted and I turned out okay. And yeah. So I feel like there has to have been like potentially some prior drug use to willing to go this deep into yeah. taking some drug like this. Right. Again, it depends on what kind of press it's yeah, getting or exactly, exactly. how it's presented. Yeah. yeah. So one other thing that I thought was an interesting parallel, which I don't know if you guys have heard of or not. Uh, there's the, the Socrates allegory of the cave. Yes, uh, where, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, where how do you know like, what's... Yeah, where like all the people are looking at the shadows of the thing, and the and one that's person, their only presentation right, and the, the one person comes back yes. in and is like, "No, you're looking at the shadows. Like, there's an actual real thing behind you, and yeah. you just can't see it. Like, just get up and turn around." And everyone's like, "No, I've, we've, we, we're committed to the vision of the world that we see, and we're yes. unwilling to believe somebody who tells us that like there's something else. There's out more. There. 
Yeah. And I and I feel like that's a really similar thing with this story. Absolutely. Where this drug is the like the version of like turn around and look behind you. Like there's there's the real thing that you're not seeing. Uh, and I I and when you when I read that story, like it's really easy as a reader of this story to be like, well, of course everyone that, should turn around. Like you have to because why, why? we're coming from that perspective. Right. Because we're already one of the people who thinks we've already turned around. Yeah. Right. And so you look at all the people looking at the shadows, and you're like, bunch of idiots. Like, on, <laughs> like only a, only a simpleton wouldn't turn around. Like because you yes. just you know you just are an idiot. Now, now for me, from like a medical background, uh, it's the it's the example of someone taking an experimental drug. It's yeah. like I would need to have, for me personally, I need to have other people take it, write up their symptoms, side effects, all that other stuff, for and me to know, like to, to verify that it's actually yeah. effective. Like I would like to see a control group yeah. that have taken it, combine their findings, and then is this legit? Yeah, yeah. Is this? Are, are your are your changes similar? Are they not similar? Like. Yeah. That would be my, I mean, yeah, it's easy to turn around and say, no, this is the real thing, but is everyone having that same experience, yeah. and is that a guarantee did thing? It, did it give you pause that some of the people who took it just killed themselves? Like, they just they absolutely. couldn't take it. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. It, it makes you wonder what chemically it's doing in the brain, if anything, yeah. or what it's doing to your synapses, right. or your neurons, or your brain balance, and then yeah. uh, collect the findings and figure out, is there... Uh, should everyone should it be readily available? Who's right. you know like? Do you need to know if you should it's take this or like, not? It's interesting because you're looking at it much more like a data driven yes. thing, and I'm looking at a I'm looking at it more like a like a, a why, philosophical. Yeah, sense. like what why wouldn't the... I turn around? Like yeah. yes. why wouldn't I turn around? Even though I could totally just be wrong, right? Yeah. Like you also have to think like if there were a thousand Adam and Eve who all took this apple, a few of them would be like. Like life is too hot. Like yeah. some of them would kill themselves, mm -hmm. right? Because they're like, "Wow, I gotta like go hunt Although, stuff all the time." I'm suddenly thinking of the interesting story of the clinical trials for the people in the cave. Uh, oh my gosh! Right? That's exactly. <laughs> really, they like come up. They're like, "Okay, we're gonna do clinical trials. You and you and you. Like, go step outside. You get a placebo <laughs> effect." <Right>. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, right. I feel like this is the ultimate drug. They can't have a, pl a placebo, right? Yeah. Like, nobody can be like, am I on it? Like, so that, no, like, that, no that, you, clearly you're not. That, that brings us back to being more like the Matrix. Do you take the blue pill or oh, the red yeah, pill? Absolutely Are you amazing. ready to accept, re uh, accept reality as it truly is, as we perceive it to be? Or do you just continue on living life yeah. as it is? So I think it's more of a Matrix. Thing. I'm turning it in more to a scientific... No, but you're uh, right. It is a red, blue, bill, blue uh, pill uh, kind uh, of thing, It right? very much is. It very much is. And, and that... Uh, what are you hoping to find out about yourself that you haven't yeah. found in your life already? That you've tried every si single yeah. method possible to find your own, you know, mental find space. Your own universal truth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this brings us to a, a harder question. Now that we've sort of like talked a bit, would if you were in that situation, like you're Dakota in the story. Do you take it? No, and I, I wrote it down. <laughs> wrote I wrote it because there's no Fino. scientific evidence. It's a new drug. There's no long-term studies completed. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know. You were no. Yeah. <laughs> I was you, a were, no. You, were, you were a solid I was no. a no. Now, would I, would I be intrigued by it? Yes. Would I want to be around those that have taken it? Yes. Would I want to yeah, learn exactly. from their experience? Now, this is the other thing. We, t take Jason. Uh, he took it, and he didn't... He tried his best to explain it, but does the drug inhibit yeah. you from I, really revealing the whole truth? But I, I think you can't explain. Like it's like your example though with color blindness, right? Yeah. You, you can't explain color. You can be like, well, it's kind of like gray, but more gray. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how you, you can say that. All right, Jeremy, what do you think? Do you take it or not? If you're, in I don't. Think you take it at that time. I would have to do research. But on you, it. you, yeah. you pocket it is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, uh, all right. I'll, I'll take so, this with me. So I'm with you on that one, Jeremy. I think I. One, I don't think I'd want two people going through that experience simultaneously. At the same time, right? Mm -mm. Uh, I think that sounds until like too you much. know. But I, but I think, I, I think, I honestly, yeah. I think I would pocket it as well and like hold yeah. it for later. I did think it was interesting to go back to that allegory, the cave thing at the end. The I think one of the last lines in the story is she, after she takes it, she stares at the wall, at the shadow at the wall. Mm -hmm. That was really nice and because I think that was like a tip of the hat to the allegory, of the cave, yes. right? Uh, where is it? Like the best yeah, way she, to experience is by looking at the shadows. She sits yeah. down and she turns on the she turns off the lights, turns on the fire, and she looks at the shadows with the fire yeah. going. Yeah. Yeah. Online, they said it would take half an hour uh, to an hour yeah. for the pill to start, another for it to take effect. So I guess we wait. Uh, she turned the chair to face the shadows the fireplace cast on the wall, 
and sat back down in the chair uh, and said, I was told watching the shadows on the walls is the best way to experience this. Yeah. I think that's a really like clear like tip to like, by the way, we're talking about the allegory of the yeah. game. Now, I'd like to show just well, how good. much she's not even prepared for this or anybody because she's like, I bought a Actually, few. Actually, should have gone to the bathroom first. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how many I, I should have the, bought. I, right, or that's I wanted to get she, the dosage right. That's why she had yeah. extra. You know, she's like, I don't know what to buy. She said it just like that, too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know me. Uh, this cat is just, like, intense. Uh, if it turns out what Maeve says to be true, that the effects oh, yeah. of Apple are a change in your cat move, of your whole perspective <laughs> of the nature of the world around you, even after the drug, ha drug has worn off, does that change your opinion of the drug? So it's not ju it's a permanent thing basically. Right. So that's that's the second part to the question, right? Is like the If it was temporary would I take it? Yeah, but if it's long term, mm -hmm. it what, depends. But even then. So Jeremy you know. and I both said we'd pocket the pill. You said you'd do more research. So let's say just for the sake of argument that it all is as it presents. It right. really is a new way to understand the world around you. Like and now we've got some clinical trials or whatever. Right. Now are you in? I, again, it would depend on what those really clinical trials find. Can you interact with society or not? Can you still feed yourself, basically? Right. And mm -hmm. can you only interact with those who've taken it? And the the people in the cave are just left out? But, I mean, here's the you thing, know, right? So let's say you're one of the people that's left the cave. What would you ever have to talk about to people in the cave? <laughs> right? The only thing you'd have right. to talk about is, you're all idiots. Yeah. Like, you'd have no common ground. So I assume in this case, the sort of pre- and post-pill people just wouldn't have much to talk about, except right. like, oh, Maybe. that's well, what you it, think the world is. It doesn't necessarily appear that way with Jason's interactions. Yeah. You know, they're brief, and he tries to explain it. Um, I don't know. It w again, I would need to see more of what those interactions are and, yeah. and what the really effects of it are. Okay, so we find out that we all sound pretty on the fence yeah. about it. So you find out that yes, it can Oh I'm you I'm, can you can you I'm can on the yes side just leaning. Oh okay, you're like no, a no, sixty okay. forty on the yes side. But this is the interesting thing. <laughs> what would lean someone to take it? Do you find that your world is so a belief that is truth not is more whole? Important? Yeah. No, yeah, it's I think not the belief that, that truth is important. But do you okay, so for humanity to find enlightenment, yeah. does it take this artificial pill to take? That's the one you problem I have with the whole You can't find it story. within right. yourself. So that's the you one, can't yeah. find it within your own world. You can't yeah. find it with your biological how you were born so that, with, or do yeah. you need this pill? But again, that's the, the whole thing with psychoactives anyways yes. and leading you to spiritualism so and the, how they're used in, in spiritualism. So mm -hmm. here's the problem I had. That's one of the main problem I had with it. Like, if we were intended to understand in this w world in this way, we, we wouldn't would need this pill. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. here's my counter argument to this that I was thinking about as you're as you talking, is isn't, this is the equivalent of the written word. So let's say that you're the first person who figures out how to read all the books in the world. Like, you could make the argument of like, well, if man were meant to know how to read, you wouldn't have to learn it. Right? And it's like, <laughs> right. And so, uh, yeah. and so, then, uh, you're so yes. then you're walking around being like, no, but like, these aren't just squiggly lines. They mean something. And you're this like, is, yeah, but yeah. this is good for our culture. This right. is good for society. Like, I understand more. And maybe yeah. I'm sad in a way, but I understand more. And you're like, yeah, but I can't read it. So, what like, I'd have been born knowing how to read if I didn't needed to know how to read. <laughs> but what if, what if someone's, like, totally content with their life? Life is fantastic. Life is great. They love it the way that they is. Should they just live in ignorance without taking Apple and not knowing this other aspect? Yeah. Does think, that yeah, make them a bad person? No, it doesn't it make them a bad person. I don't think it makes them a bad person. It just makes them a person who believes that happiness is the goal of life. Like, I think in, that's what this comes down to. Right. Whether happiness is Whether more important happiness or truth. than right. truth or knowledge or and I, and I think understanding. Yeah, and I think it's really hard to take a, a moral judgment on either person's choice. Right. Yes. Yeah. Like, because, like, how can you fault someone for just wanting to, like, you know, like, be okay? Yeah. That's true. Like this cat. This cat this, is like this cat. solid. This cat I wish the cat would turn around because that face is just like nodding off. It's doing yeah. the head bob thing. Are you yeah. okay? Yeah, you're sleeping. That's like, I'm just thinking. I'm waiting for an adoption. Oh, hello. I'm waiting to get adopted. Oh, stretches. All right. So I think right. that probably covers this one pretty well. Uh, unless there's anything else you guys wanted to jump on. That I think we've, no. we're roughly on. Oh, uh, what, what, what are the factors that make you think Apple is or isn't what it claims to be? Is there Man, anything I, that makes you question I think, I that think it's, it's legit. You like do? based on what Jason's saying, like I think it's so legit. Right. Like the idea, yes. like the, the, the one person. 
Yeah, but the idea There's of... a thing called placebo effect. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, people would literally take a placebo and be like, yeah, I totally feel better. It's like, we gave you a water pill. So I know yeah. I'm super biased in this, but the idea of the, the line that you talked about with the, we call the thing the, a wave, but it's right. just the form of the ocean. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh man, that's like, maybe it's because I grew up on like, on Yoda and, and Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this idea that like, that like everything is just one thing and you're just yeah. seeing variations, variations of one of the thing. Form. You're seeing yeah. variations of the form of the one, right? Just like the wave in the ocean. And it's like, if I can understand that better, like, man, then I why want, not go yeah, there? I want to do that. Better understanding. Assuming that's really what it is. Yeah. Uh, it, I, but again, it comes down to can yes. you function in this society after you've taken that mind bender? Like, yeah. can you still function, or does everyone need to take it? Is there needs to be an ed, like, like you're born, well, that, then you're given right. apple as a baby? So I think that's the sequel, yeah. right? Like the sequel <laughs> to the story is like fast forward thirty years, right? And like society, eighty, yeah. and like eighty percent of society's taken it, mm -hmm. and twenty percent of people are like, if I'd meant to see more, God would have made me see more, <laughs> right? I don't want to. I don't yeah. want to learn no reading. Uh, I think that creates a schism between, like that. I, that I think is an interesting yes. science fiction novel as well. Yeah. Uh, with that, so pretend in that world that eighty percent of people have taken it and twenty people people have it. What if there is a side effect, a detriment that people are just like, "Whoa, the world's all connected, man!" And they don't. Right, become they don't Switzerland. Be, they don't become um, innovative. Become, they don't. Yeah. Suddenly, certain, right? They become France with the previous story about right. not uh -huh. working, mm -hmm. not contributing to society. Right. They just feel right. it's all connected. It's all one. Right. Why? Whatever Suddenly, form. capitalism is not the goal. Right. So then, in that case, the twenty percent that didn't take it are the ones that are building, using tools, doing yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. Who's to? Say? I'm just putting no, it out that, there. No, but that's putting a cultural sort of standard on a new society, right? Yeah. That's like saying, like, I work this way, you've become different, and therefore, I don't really. I, I don't know. I think it's. Yeah. A, it, I, know, I think it's an interesting. It, question, it asks though. interesting questions for sure. More. I, yeah, I like this story more than the last one. I can't lie. Yeah. Uh, all right. So. Uh, if you want to read this story, you can go uh, online. You've been watching After Dinner Conversation, short stories for longer discussions. Uh, Something we missed, write a comment, oh, yeah. pose your own question. This is meant to derive conversation. Yeah. It's not to put one person down than another. It's just to evolve thought. Yeah. Uh, Heck, read it with your friends and sit down after dinner and talk about it yeah. yourselves. Talk about, post comments, questions about the things that we got wrong, forgot, didn't think about. You know, we're not perfect yet. We're not, we're not on uh, Apple. It made me really <laughs> hungry after reading this. I could really go for an yeah, apple right uh, now. Right? <laughs> uh, next week, what is our story? Uh, uh, I got it. This, this I Do For You. This I Do, this for, I do you. for You. By yeah. Margaret. I can't spell her last you name. You got to reach over there. All right. Margaret Kermazin. Kermazin? Kermazin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This I Do For You. A story about, uh, this one you kind of, it's like got a spoiler. You really can't say what it's about. But no. it's about like a oh. kid that's growing up. Yeah. Or yeah. That, that has to like that's called to make a sacrifice for the community. Yes. And that's, again, it asks a pretty interesting ethical question. It question. is an interesting story. I like Not this. just I with like her, yeah, but anyways. with her mom and the community as a for whole. For next week. Yeah. yeah, for next week. And we'll be back <laughs> to the cat cafe next week again yeah. uh, with a new cat, probably. But Absolutely. this one's up for adoption. If you're watching yeah. this and this cat's still around, this cat is awesome. Yeah. This one just likes to cuddle. Yeah. Sorry. All right, we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great I day. I like this one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>